Look at this lumber. It's five with a little two in midair next to it. What does it mean? Well, it means five times five. So we could work out as, as, as being 25. Five with this little two means 25. We call it five to the power of two. Sometimes uh, when it's two we call it squared, so that would be five squared. Two to the power of three. What's that mean? Well, it means three twos all multiplied together, uh, which would be eight, but we would call that two to the power of three, or two cubed. Cubed is used when the power is three. Ten to the power of five. Well, that's five tens all multiplied, so its value is a hundred thousand, but we would call that ten to the power of five. Sometimes just ten to the far. 10 to the 5 or 10 to the 5th. So, in general, x to the power of n means n x's all multiplied together. So it's x multiplied by itself n times. Let's have a little bit closer look at this expression x with a little n. The x is what we call the base number or the, just the base. The n, which we've been calling the power, well, often it's called the index. And the plural of the word index is indices. And that's why this topic is called indices. And we'll be studying it in this and later videos. Let's start off by looking at two sets of uh, indices multiplied. You've got 5 cubed, or 5 to the power of 3, times 5 to the power of 4. Well, 5 to the power of 3 is 3 fives all multiplied. 5 to the power of 4 is 4 fives all multiplied. So if you're multiplying the two, it's all those multiplications together, which means in total we've got 7 fives all multiplied. So we could rewrite that as 5 to the power of 7. Well, let's look at another example. In the meantime, we'll keep that one on the screen. 7 to the 4 times 7 to the 6. That's four sevens times six sevens, all multiplied together, so we can get rid of those brackets. So we could write that as seven to the power of ten. Let's leave that on the screen. Let's look at a letter now. It's the same principle. T squared times T to the five. Well, T squared is T times T. T to the five is T times T times T times T times T. In other words, five T's multiplied. That makes a total of 7 t's all multiplied, so we could rewrite it as t to the power of 7. So, let's have a think at what's going on here. The 3 and the 4 here gets added together to get our 7. So, 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 4 is 5 to the power of 3 plus 4, which is 7. We add these two powers to get the 7. Similarly here, we add the 4 and the 6 to get the 10, and even in this one with the letter, we add the 2 and the 5 to get the 7. So what we're doing effectively is changing multiplying to adding. Multiplying the numbers means adding the powers or the indices. So, in general, how can we uh, state that? If you've got x to the a times x to the b, well, both those numbers have got the same base, just like the examples we've got here. Both have got a base of x, but they've got different indices, a and b. But if we multiply them together, the index simply becomes a plus b. Whatever a and b are, we just add them together. And like many rules in maths, the rule works just as well the other way. We could split x to the a plus b into x to the a times x to the b. And there will be occasions when we need to do just that. Now, that rule is a very important one and needs to be remembered.